yes, it, it's a really amazing concept that you can take sustain out of a string without putting pads on it or anything. Uh, so, and it does it really well. to mention here is even though they're doing this on two separate guitars, it's simply a flick of the switch that yeah. changes it from sustain. Yeah. It's, like someone, it's like someone handed you a different instrument. Yeah. You know, and it, it feels, feels different. It feels like a different instrument. And you can get the most amazing timbres out of this mute mode. I mean, we can get banjo-y tones. Uh, we can get koto kind of a thing. So there are just limitless possibilities with you know what we've got going on here, I think. Just and it really expands the vocabulary of the musician, you know. Uh, Fareed was playing last night at the Garage Mahal show and um, that we had put on. It was a mo guitar showcase. And um, it, it was amazing to hear all this in action, you know, and, and to, to see it with this band that's just a world-class act that it expanded that they, they, they were expanded by the experience as well. So, so, so um, if, if we can give energy to a string and if we can take energy away from the string, then, then there becomes this incredible other possibility that's never been able to be done before in that we can intelligently decide what to mute and what to sustain. Part of the problem with um, kind of some of the uh, early sustainer type of um, uh, products was they just kind of incoherently blasted energy at the string, kind of like a flashlight, you know, with all sorts of energy. And, you know, I'm in full sustain mode right now, um, but I'm in what we call control sustain, which is a combination of full sustain and muting. And notice the instrument's not doing anything. Um, and so what I'm doing is the guitar is looking at all the, all the points on the string and saying, oh, well, he's not playing the strings right now, so I'm going to actively suck the energy out. But as soon as, as soon as I hold a string, and notice I'm not touching any other strings. If I was in full mode, the whole guitar would start to vibrate. sustain. So it enables you to do these incredible single line things um, that guitars have really never been able to do before. And um, you know, you think of uh, playing long violin lines or you know saxophone lines like an old Duke Ellington line. Things are just a absolutely gorgeous things to do. Um, yeah, Duke Ellington would be <laughs> jumping up in his uh, <laughs> heaven right now. Um, and uh, so control sustain uh, gives you this in incredible playing capabilities, counterpunch, drone, <coughs> droning things. But the other thing that it enables you to do, um, if you can give energy to a string and take energy away from a string, and you have different points in space to do that on, we all, as Paul described, the string, the beautiful thing about this technology is it only allows you to do what a string can do. You can't make a string do anything different. Words and effects processor, you can take the sound from your guitar and, you know, simplify it into its basic frequency components and turn, make it sound like a saxophone or a drum kit or something. That's the, it's the opposite here. We can only do what a string does. So by manipulating what the string actually does and giving energy, say, like in this part of the string and taking away on this part of the string, we can actually change our harmonics. So listen to the sound. 